लेक्चर वी सी ए शोट की जंक्शन दैट कैन बी मेड बिटवीन ए मेटल एंड ए सेमी कंडक्टर एंड वी नो दैट व्हेन द वर्क फंक्शन ऑफ मेटल इज ग्रेटर देन द वर्क फंक्शन ऑफ द एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर देन द जंक्शन फॉर्म्ड बिटवीन दीज टू इज नोन एज शोट की जंक्शन This short key junction can also be made between metal and a p-type semiconductor. But for that, this condition gets reversed. That is, if the work function of the metal is lower than the work function of p-type semiconductor, then this junction is also known as short key junction. here i am taking an example of a short key junction between a metal and a n type semiconductor so first let me draw the energy band diagrams of metal and n type semiconductor so we know that this is the vacuum level for the metal and this is the fermi level ef for the metal and we know that all the energy states below this fermi level are filled and all the energy states above this fermi level are empty similarly this is the fermi sorry vacuum level for <coughs> n type semiconductor this is the minimum of the conduction band that is ec and this is maximum of the valence band that is ev and we know that for a n type semiconductor the fermi level is also is always below the conduction band or conduction level so this diagram is for metal and this is for n type semiconductor here we can see that the let me write this formula as e f n and we know that this difference in metal is known as work function that is the minimum energy required to remove the electron from <coughs> its formula and in semiconductor this energy difference is known as electron affinity and this energy difference is known as work function since its n doped semiconductor so we can write it as phi n s so here we can see that the fermi level of the semiconductor is above the fermi level of the metal so when we make a junction between these two that electron will move from semiconductor to metal side so <clears throat> since electrons are going away from the semiconductor side and this is n type semiconductor so in this way some donor atoms will be exposed and due to their exposure we get a positive charge on the semiconductor side and here excess electrons are going so on metal side we get a negative charge so this condition is similar to the pn junction and due to this due to the separation of this opposite charges we get a con contact potential between these two that is after making a junction let's it's metal side and this is semiconductor side so since electrons are moving from this side to this side so here we get a positive charge 
and here on metal side we get a negative charge and since electrons are moving from this side to this side so up to a certain level or certain depth some positive donor atoms will be exposed in the semiconductor side so these are donor atoms and since electrons are going away from here so there is a depletion of the electrons so <coughs> this width for this reason is known as depletion region and since there are plenty of electrons in the metal side so when we add electron to this side there is no difference between the fermi level before and after adding of these electrons so there is no change in the fermi level of the metal but there is a certain change in the semiconductor side up to this length or this depth so in this way there is a band bending in the semiconductor side and there is no band bending in the metal side so let me draw the energy diagram after this is before and let me draw how these bands are bending in this junction so since electrons are going away from the semiconductor side so this fermi level will be go in downward direction and this fermi level will go in upward direction and up at the <coughs> equilibrium condition these two fermi levels will line up so since metal side is going in a upward direction so now there is an equilibrium in the fermi level this is the vacuum level and this is the vacuum level also for the semiconductor side and this is the ec for the semiconductor and this is ev so here this is the depletion region so now these bands are bending like this so the here important thing is that up to this distance or length this is metal and after this this is semiconductor so all the band bending is towards the semiconductor side so here we can see that to move electrons from semiconductor to and this contact potential that is formed due to the movement of the electrons to get equilibrium condition now opposes the further movements of the electrons so after getting an equilibrium condition there is no movements of the electrons and if electrons want to move from semiconductor side to metal side they have to get this amount of energy to counter this contact potential and 
if we represent this energy in <coughs> what sometimes this is known as v not or vbi that is built in potential which is equal to the work function difference between metal and semiconductor dividing by electronic charges and if electrons want to move from metals to semiconductor then electron from the fermi level of the metal have to get this amount of energy because they have to jump here like that so this energy is known as the barrier potential phi b and this barrier potential is the since these electrons have to go from fermi level to the conduction band of the semiconductor so this barrier potential is equal to the difference of the work function of the metal and the electron affinity of the semiconductor so this is phi b which is equal to work function of the metal minus electron affinity of this semiconductor so these two equations are very important so here both sides of electrons can have this barrier from this side to and this side also so in this way and this phi b let me write phi b is known as short key barrier height so now let me write all these points so that you can get better understanding so here in the above diagram we can see the fermi level of semiconductor is higher than the fermi level of the metal and we also know that after formation of a junction between metal and semiconductor the fermi level levels line up at the equilibrium we can also think it like there are electrons <coughs> in the conduction band of the 
सेमीकंडक्टर विच कैन बी मोड और लेट मी राइट इन एक्टिवाइज विच कैन मूव टू द एम्पट्टी एनर्जी स्टेट अब हो द फर्मी लेवल ऑफ द मेटल दिस लिवस ए पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन द सेमडक्ट साइड एंड ड्यू टू एक्सेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ए नेगेटिव चार्ज ऑन द मेटल साइड and this separation of opposite charges leads to a contact potential or we can also see it as built in potential एक कॉन्टैक्ट पोटेंशियल व्हेन ए कॉन्टैक्ट पोटेंशियल इज फॉर्म्ड between two metals the electrons stay on the surface it's very important to note when we make a contact between two metals there is also a contact potential but due to plenty of electrons in the metal all the excess electrons will stay on the surface of the metal and this is due to the high electron density in metals and it's about 10 to the power 23 per cm cube on the other hand side on the other hand
when a contact is formed here we can remove this potential we can all we can only talk about the contact and after contact we can talk about contact contact potential but here we can talk only about making a contact between these two metal between two metals or between one metal and other semiconductor so when a contact is <coughs> formed between a metal and semiconductor due to low charge density on the semiconductor side it's about 10 raised to the, the power 17 per centimeter cube the electrons are removed not only from the surface but also from a certain depth of the semiconductor this leads to the formation of a depletion region within the semiconductor since the depletion region extend extends within certain depth in the semiconductor there is bending 
of the energy bands on the semiconductor side only when we make a junction between two semiconductors that is p type and n type there is a bending of energy bands in both of these semiconductor but here bending takes place only in the semiconductor side this is very important important point thus a positive potential is formed on the semiconductor side it is worth to note that bands bend up in the direction of the electric field this means the energy bends bend up going from n type semiconductor to the metal so here bend energy bands are bending in upward direction starting from n type semiconductor to metal the fermi levels line up and there is a certain region there is a certain region in semiconductor semiconductor side where the bands bend meaning is that there is a certain region in which only energy bands can bend and after that region there is no band bending in the semiconductor tube
and let me write this above equation again there is a built in or contact potential normally i call it built in potential there is a built in potential you can also call it as contact potential in the short key junction this built in potential can be written as vbi which is equal to work function of metal minus work function of n type inductor by e in some books books you can't see this dividing by e factor they simply can write vbi which is equal to work function of metal and the work function of semiconductor so this is our first equation now we know that work function of metal is constant constant while the work function <coughs> of semiconductor depends on the doping concentration meaning here is that since the work function of the metal while the work function of the semiconductor is not constant so we can't say that work junction between gold and silicon is a short key or a homic or work function of a another metal and another another semiconductor is homic or short key because gold can make a homic contact with the silicon or a short key junction with the silicon and this junction only the, the type of this junction only depends upon the doping concentration in the silicon is it p doped or n doped and we know that the contact or built in potential potential works as the barrier for the electrons to move from the n type semiconductor to the metal initially
when the junction is formed electrons move to the <coughs> metal to create the depletion region the contact potential or built in potential <coughs> thus formed prevents further movement of the electrons from semiconductor to metal side so this is similar to the built in working of the built in potential in pn junction and there is also a barrier for electrons to move from metal to kya hua metal to semiconductor metal to semiconductor side this barrier is called as the short key barrier and can be represented as phi b where phi b is equal to the work function of the metal minus electron affinity of the semiconductor and we know that at equilibrium the motion of electrons from the semiconductor to metal is balanced by the contact potential so that the 
there is no current without without applying any external biasing so in next lecture we will see the behavior of this junction under various biasing condition that is in forward bias and in reverse bias so this is all about the short key junction